So, one of the quick rules, guys, that you want to follow is always try to do the most complicated side first. We're not going to want to try to expand secant to make it look like this, right? It's more easier to simplify a complicated side to make it look like secant, right? Rather than it is to try to like work backwards and expand. Um, so, whew, okay. Um, if I have this, I have two terms <coughs> added to each other, right? So I need to take those two terms and I'm going to have to combine them, right? Yep. Right? So I'm going to have to add these up together. Yep. Now, um, they obviously are not like terms right now. So what I might want to do is, what I might do is see if I can maybe cancel something out and maybe if I can get them a little bit more simpler. So, because right now I can't add these, they're not like terms, right? So what I can do is maybe say, well, how about if I braid right tangent as sine over cosine, that might give me something that I might be able to work with. So I have cosine of x plus sine times, I'm sorry, sine of x times sine of x over cosine of x. Exactly. Well, these aren't going to cancel out. We're, these aren't going to cancel out. Well, if they're multiplied, they would. But since they're adding, they're not, they're not going to. But what I end up having is cosine of x over 1 plus sine squared of x over cosine. And like I said, the only reason why I'm doing this is because now what I see here is I can get these as the same denominators. Why are you going to get these to be the same denominators? By multiplying by cosine over cosine, right? To get If you get the same denominator as cosine, right? If you get the same denominator as cosine, then you can add these up. So I'll multiply by cosine of x over cosine of x, which gives me cosine squared of x um, over cosine. plus okay. sine squared of x all over, all over cosine of x. Right? Just as I was just. So you guys see what I did? Because that we need to combine them, right? If you look at this, this isn't no, something no, separated. We no, need to combine that's one, them. That's one. Yeah. So now, yes. If, uh, if you do one side or one uh, fraction, don't you have to do the other one too? Yeah, but usually, one. when so, your common denominator, usually. like see here, all I need to do their common denominator is cosine. So I don't have to do anything to cosine. Oh, so it's like timing times one. Exactly. It's oh, like me saying like this, like th um, three halves plus one fourth. Well, the common denominator is four, right? You only need to multiply by two over two. Make sense, right? So this is kind of like the same thing. Um, with there is, I don't really do anything cosine because cosine is the common denominator. So now cosine plus sine, cosine squared plus sine squared, Pythagorean identity equals one. Which, one over cosine, which is equal to one by cosine with sec, sec x, which is secant of x, which obviously equals our right side. Ta-da! Yeah.